the fate of Guantanamo detainees, including Mr. Carter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable Member for St. John's South Mount Pearl. When a problem arises with a Crown Corporation, this government washes its hands of any responsibility. They tell us that Crown Corporations are arm's length. It has nothing to do with the Minister. But the conservatives, the conservatives insist on sitting on in on private meetings of Crown Corporations. They fired the chief nuclear regulator and rid themselves of the commissioners of elections, of information, of ethics. When are they going to tell Canadians the truth? There's no such thing as independence for Crown Corporation with this Conservative government. Bravo. The Honourable Minister of State. Yes, Mr. Speaker, uh, as the Honourable Colleague knows and everyone in this House knows that Crown Corporations uh, serve their day-to-day -day functions at arm's length of the government. But the question is really if there's information that comes to the House for individuals, they, they have the full right and I will set up any meetings that is needed for them to do the functions of their job here in the House, not only to the Honourable Colleague but any of the opposition members at any time they would like. The Honourable Member for St. John, South Mount Pearl. Mr. Speaker, this is a serious issue. If this government picks and chooses the Crown corporations it gets involved with, then this raises, raises further questions about the allegations linking Conservative Senator Hasakos with the awarding of the bridge contracts. If a con Crown corporation can so much as meet with a member of Parliament without a ministerial escort, how can we be expected to believe that they'll award major contracts without Conservative meddling? Bravo. Yeah, honorable. She has an important responsibility. If she has any evidence, any facts, anything whatsoever that she could uh, bring forward to this House, I would encourage her to do so. The fact that she stands in this place and maligns a member of the other uh, of the other chamber, Mr. Speaker, and presents no facts, no specific allegations, uh, is uh, actually uh, not a uh, not serving her constituents well, in my judgment, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Skeena, Bulk Valley.